By the late 1980s, the UC Riverside men's basketball team had proven itself to be one of the elite Division II programs in the nation, boasting eight 20-win seasons and 10 NCAA tournament appearances from 1970 through 1988. The 87-88 squad finished with a record of 22-8, advancing to the second round of the NCAA West Regional. The following year, head coach John Macy welcomed back eight letter winners and noted in the 1988-89 media guide that, quote, we will have the same basic offensive strategy as last year with one exception. I think that we have the type of personnel which will allow us to score more points inside. The reason for Macy's confidence was a Division I transfer by the name of Chris Sabalos. After two seasons at Cal State Fullerton, Sabalos packed his bags for the Inland Empire to ply his wares for the Highlanders. Alongside Maurice Pullum, Jimmy Shorters, and Reggie Howard, Sabalos gave UC Riverside a quartet of scoring threats that was among the best in the nation. And following a trip to Hawaii and the Chaminade Christmas Classic, the nation took notice. A late addition to the tournament, the Highlanders beat host Chaminade in the first round and Eastern Washington in the semifinals. That set up a championship game meeting with Iowa. The Hawkeyes were a Division I power at the time, ranked fourth in the country, and boasting five future NBA players on their roster, including three-time NBA champion B.J. Armstrong. The Highlanders and the Hawkeyes had the sporting landscape to themselves that Christmas day, and UC Riverside did not disappoint, as the Highlanders made an NCAA record 21 three-pointers, upsetting Iowa by a score of 110 to 92. Sabalos drained three of those record 21 trifectas on his way to a 24-point scoring performance. Following the dramatic victory, Sports Illustrated dedicated a portion of its weekly college basketball roundup to the Highlanders' win, and ESPN named UC Riverside its National Sports Person of the Week. UC Riverside used the Chaminade Tournament victory as a springboard to a 15-game winning streak and a 20-1 and start to the year. The Highlanders secured the regular season CCAA title with a 92-86 win over Cal State Northridge in the final game of the regular season. Riverside won the conference tournament championship with victories over Cal State Bakersfield and Chapman College, sending them back to the NCAA tournament for the 11th time. Wins in the NCAA regional over Sonoma State and Bakersfield ran UC Riverside's record to 28-3 and, and put them in the NCAA Elite Eight in Springfield, Massachusetts. A six-point victory over Millersville put the Highlanders in the Final Four, setting up a meeting with Southeast Missouri State. The teams battled into overtime, but it was the Red Hawks emerging with a one-point win. Despite the disappointment, the Highlanders topped Jacksonville in the consolation game behind 24 points from Sabalos. He would finish as the team's second leading scorer on the season, the Highlanders' top rebounder and the top shooter from the field among UC Riverside regulars, earning all CCAA honors in the process. The following season appeared to be a rebuilding year for the Highlanders as Coach Macy looked to replace four starters. But with Sabalos leading the offense, the Highlanders recorded yet another 20-win campaign and reached their 12th NCAA tournament. Sabalos' 19.7 points per game on that year remained the fourth highest single season total in UC Riverside basketball history and helped him earn the CCAA Most Valuable Player Award. Sabalos finished his career with the third highest scoring average in UC Riverside history and the fifth best three point field goal percentage. Despite playing just two seasons for the Blue and Gold, he still ranks sixth in the Highlanders' record books in career free throws made and attempted. 
The UC Riverside men's basketball program is honored to bring back the past this evening with former Highlanders forward, Chris Sabalos.